today's video I am going to discuss with you about a one dimensional wave equation uh, the solution is D Lambert solution uh, why we are going to apply this D Lambert solution because it is specifically we will talk about the infinitely long strings vibration over there so the waves will be in the infinitely long string so to begin with uh, we will see that what kind of uh, equations and system we are going to get so first point is that the wave equation that we know that how to write a wave equation we always have a u as a displacement t time and x is a position so any wave equation can be represented like this or sometimes this can also be written in the form of 1 by c square can be on this side of t or it can be on the side of x square with in the numerator so first of all identification of the wave equation is important then uh, here x there is no boundary so it's an infinite string so that's why we are only having a initial value values over here so the initial value is at when um, at the position x when time was 0 this is fx and the initial velocity so this is called initial position and this is called initial velocity and that is why we call it an initial value now uh, I will directly give you the solution because we are going to learn how to apply or how to solve question based on such kind of situation so here the general solution of uh, this first one equation is always given like that uh, uxt means uh, displacement at any position at, at any time is equals to 1 by 2 this portion is the general solution of this equation so here it is 1 by 2 fx plus ct plus fx minus ct plus 1 by 2c integration from x minus ct to x plus ct gx ds so here the what are the important point which I want to sh uh, share with you you should remember these two points like here this function which is initial velocity this you should know and this you should know because point is that in this formula we have a two function one is f and one is g so f is the initial velo uh, initial position and g is the velocity part sometimes we can write down the velocity in the brief form like this okay so that you have to remember and uh, even if you what I said key we can write down it like this this notation is also for the partial derivatives so we are going to see the question either in the del notation or it might be in this form so one point is remember this solution because again I am not getting into the derivation of the solution the motive of this video is to share with you how to apply this formula to get a solution the specific solution so you have to remember that we are going to use c here so c we can compare by here we can find out the c value and you are finding here f at something and f at something here so f knowledge is needed so which is you can drag by comparing from u and the derivative part which is a velocity is a g so here s is just uh, because we are going to do integration in this portion so just writing g of some dif different uh, input that's it so that point you have to remember so let us start with the one of the example for example if this question is solve this wave equation obviously it is an infinite under this condition so here uh, this ux0 is equals to x and ut x0 is equals to 1 and the question is also asking to find the value at 2 z 1 u at 2 1 so first let us find out u x t and then we can put x is equals to 2 and t is equals to 1 to get a that particular answer so to start with here let us see here what is c square c square i can compare here it is 1 so c square is 1 means c is equals to 1 right and then uh, we we need f of x so here f of x is ux0 so f of x here is x and we need a g of x what is g of x which is the velocity part so wherever you see the derivative that is our g function so it is 1 so first point is whenever you are having a questions like that using d Lambert's 
solution if you need to find the solution of it or even whenever you see the wave equation and here x is minus infinity to infinity you can use it whether d l Umbert word is written over there or not because d l Umbert is giving us the solution for infinite string or you can say the value of x is infinite over here. So after comparing these three functions we know that how to write a solution I know that u x t is equals to 1 by 2 f of x plus c t plus f of x minus c t plus 1 by 2 c x minus c t is the lower limit x plus c t is the upper limit here I need to find out g function so you can use a, a variable because when the limits are there this variable hardly matters right so let us pl uh, put all the values first let me rewrite this function when you plug in the value of uh, c is equals to 1 we will get x plus t and here x minus t because c is 1 this is equals to 1 by 2 and uh, everything is same x minus c t x minus t and x plus t and you are having g of x is equals to 1 ds. Now uh, I'll see this function part. I have not substituted directly all the two things together just to give you a clarity about uh, the first question. Uh, here you can see the function. What is a function? Function f is saying when you are giving me x, I'll give you x back. So here when you are giving me x plus t, t the function will give me x plus t back. So this you just have to see what formula fx is giving us so we can apply it over here. So same x minus t here uh, you can see that t and t will get cancelled you are having 2x let us see the other part here uh, integration is of 1. So what is the integration of 1 with respect to ds is s and in the lower limit is x minus t upper limit is x plus t. Next step is just to solve your question that what we are going to find out here u x t is equals to you can see from here x plus x is 2 x so we are getting 2 x and outside there is a 2 which get cancelled plus this side we have seen 1 by 2 was there so 1 by 2 and here the upper limit when you plug in over in place of x we can find out x plus t minus lower limit is x minus t and then you just simplify so this u x t is coming up as a x plus uh, when you simplify open this this um, this will be minus x plus t so minus x and plus x will get cancelled and this side we are having a double of t and this double of t to to cancel and we get x plus t so we have gotten the general solution of this question as a x plus t. This is a solution, right? Now in this question, one additional part is there. Uh, also find the value of u21. So we are going to find out now u when x is 2 and y is 1. So we want to plug in x is equals to 2 and 1 is 1. You are getting 3 as an answer. So this way we can find out the solution. Let us see one more example. Here uh, we are going to solve and in this case you can see that uh, ux0 is given us as a sin x and this is a and c square is c square. So we are not going to put f, c square will be remain as c. So let me write down what is fx. fx is equals to sin x and g of x is a constant. So we are going to plug in the formula. The solution is d l Umbert solution. So 1 by 2 f of x plus c t plus f of x minus c t here plus 1 by 2 c x minus c t x plus c t. Now g of x is a so it is a times u. You can just when it is g x so you can put g s so it is also constant and uh, let us put this side x is sine of x so whenever you we, we can get put x we are getting sine x so here 
we are going to get sine of x plus ct plus sine of x minus ct and here we will see integration a uh, with sorry a is constant a can be outside 1 by 2 c is outside a is outside and integration of ds is s and we are having a this limit now let's see what further uh, we can uh, simplify this expression like sin a plus sin b what is the formula of sin a plus sin b this is 2 times sin a plus b into uh, divided by 2 half angle formula or you can say sum to um, not half angle it is when you convert sum to the product form and we are having cause of uh, difference a minus b x plus c t minus x plus c t upon 2 into this next step what was that here we were having uh, a by 2 c and inside we are getting after putting the value you are getting upper limit minus lower limit just like the previous question so when you simplify this and this term will get cancelled here x and x will get cancelled we are getting 2x by 2 which is equals to what this 2 2 will get cancelled and here this is in the angle part this is only in the angle part so we are getting sine of 2x by 2 is sin x and cos of 2 ct is cos ct and here xx cancel you are getting 2 ct 2 2 2 c will get cancel and you are having only a times t so we got the answer u x t is equals to sine of x cos of ct plus a t so basically whenever the question is only demanding the answer so we will get like that so whether again saying whether it is mentioned or not mentioned whenever you see wave equation and we see that x is it is if it is written like initial value problem or uh, it's a wave equation so you can uh, apply this formula right dlm words so this question i have already uh, done it is solved over here just to so tell you quick uh, discussion here uh, this is again wave equation how do you find out wave equation again it's a partial derivative equation both time and position both are double and constant is here so you can get that is equals to c square this is your c square and you get a c value f of x you will always use so very important point is that which part is fx and which part is gx f part which you write in this side that one with the plus uh, to ct and one with the minus ct that is f function so here f function is minus x and here gx is given as a zero so when it is zero so this portion is eliminated we only have this part and uh, you have to put x is equals to minus x so when you put c as a 2 so x plus 2t and x minus 2t uh, when you plug in you are getting this as a because this side i am not getting anything reason being it's a 0 so we got the answer so here comes an answer that's it now last question let's say here you are having this equation wherein the wave equation and uh, their c square is 1 initial value this this you can say initial uh, position is fx which is 0 and initial velocity whenever you see t here it means del u by del t at t is equals to 0 so this is given as a cos so it means gx is given as a cos and uh, when we apply this formula this is a general formula you just remember this formula and plug in the value so when you plug in this part you are having this part is 0 so we don't get anything so here you are getting 0 plus this part and we only have to do the integration so what is an integration of cos it is sin of x here s i am writing so let me write down s x minus t x plus t so when you put this is equals to 1 by 2 sin of 
x minus t minus x x plus t this is plus x plus t minus a sine of x minus t and then we can apply the half angle formula so in this case the half angle formula is sine a minus b so what is the formula of sine a minus sine b is equals to 2 times sine of uh, a minus b upon 2 and cos of a plus b upon 2. So now cos will be addition. So when you plug in the formula you are getting here outside we are having 2. So I will write down uh, 1 yes it is 2. So here what we need to do is sine a minus b so we are going to write down 2 here it is 1 by 2 you are getting sine a minus b so what is a x plus t minus x minus t upon 2 this is plus this is minus okay so uh, negative and with the cause it will be positive when there is a plus sign you get a sine with plus and cos with minus you, you twist the values and we are going to write down cos of x plus t plus x minus t and you are going to write down 2 over here and this is here uh, x and x will get cancelled and you are getting 2 2 will get cancelled you are getting sine of t and when you add them that will be cos of x that's it so we have gotten u x t is equals to sine of t and cos of x i hope there is a one question one part is there no even if somebody is asking you some value we can put the value otherwise let it be as it is so i hope you have gotten some idea how to